with y'all YouTube. It's your boy, OJ The Juice. And I'm back with episode number two of Until Dawn. Before you even start the damn video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Or else. Now let's get right into it. But yeah, I'm still streaming it on PlayStation now. Remember I said I was going to um put the disc in. I definitely got to do it. Oh, what? <sighs> Damn it. I'm going to do a safe. What fuck is you talking about? It ain't no rush. He's super brave, super charitable, pretty honest, eh, not really romantic, eh, not really funny, eh, he's pretty curious, not bad, not bad at all, let's get it. Yeah, so if y'all see like the shit slowing down, it's definitely because it's streamed. <laughs> cool. These are the totems, you feel me? Let's get a good look at it. No. Oh my god. Not doing that. You know what I'm gonna do. They fiending. Yes, yeah, sorry for the the frame rate drop. Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? I'd be a nosy prick. 
gonna close this shit. I ain't gonna snoop. Maybe I shouldn't post about Chris's stuff. Any of your business. Chris! Sam! Hey! You made it! Hey, Chris! Oh, so... I found something kinda amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. I'm gonna blow your mind. Hmm. My honesty went up, but everything else went down. What the fuck? Oops, my bad. Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. I'm not hitting that shit again. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this in here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Ah, uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. I'm trying. Ah, uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. I'm about to blick him. I cannot blick. I cannot blick. How do I shoot? Oh. Shoot! Oh, right there. Damn, I'm slow. Sorry, bugs. I'm with the. Is that a can right there? Think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. I don't believe in harming animals, so I'm not gonna do it, especially if the animal isn't harming you. You have no reason to do it. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, right coming. Butterfly effect. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Damn, that shit went all the way up. Big ball, like he got something stuck up his ass. It is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I don't know. You said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. Okay, if it was locked, how the hell did he get in? Oh, that's interesting. Do say so myself. I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. 
What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Family bought a mountain. Said yeah, buying a whole mountain, you are rich. What the fuck is she talking about? Stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. I don't think I missed anything, did I? Wait, no. I guess not. Yeah, this should be lagging. It's like going to the prom. Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. That's some true shit right there. I believe in that butterfly effect. Because a lot of decisions that I've made led to certain things that's happening now, today. Had I made different choices at a different time, certain situations that I'm in now, I wouldn't be in those situations. Well, hell, they might be a little less worse, or you get what I'm saying? But yeah, the butterfly effect, I don't care what nobody say, that's some real shit. Just... She got a little song, you feel me? She got a little, a little song. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? <laughs> yeah, she got a little, oh, nice little my butt. God. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, 
got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M Split were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this. Noise. Damn, why her relationship with Sam go down? What the fuck? Nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? I don't Emily. think it's like it's pretty. Man. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Like, who the hell does she think she is? Oh my god. This is Sam being a gentleman, but she's a bitch. Chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Eh, that nigga's an ass. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. Hmm. That's why him and Emily got along so well. They both have intelligent trait and persuasive trait. That's very interesting. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> Next one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we can move past all this. It buds, but... Damn. Why my charitable went down so much? You know what? Yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Oh. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. 
You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why are you- Okay, what she's doing right now is definitely reverse psychology. She knows she can easily do that shit to Matt. Because he's gullible. He's a simp. And he's a beta male. I hate to say it, but it's true. She's definitely flipping the script on him. He didn't say shit wrong, like, at all. He didn't say nothing wrong to this girl. He's being protective of his woman. As he should be. And she's getting extremely irritable and then saying, like, oh, would you think I can't protect myself for five minutes? And, like, yo, dude never said that. All he said was he don't want to leave her by herself as he should. Because I guarantee you, had my boy been like... Okay, well, you know, go ahead. That would have been a problem too. Sometimes it's just hard to win in situations with a particular type of person. I'm not just going to say women because men do it too. It goes both ways, but... I, I've personally dealt with women like that. You, you try to tell them something logical that makes... Yeah, you know, it's no refuting the logic. And no matter what you say, or how you try to phrase it, they will use reverse psychology to make it seem like you're saying something or doing something wrong. When in all reality, you weren't. I've been there. And that's my way of saying, yes, I've been a simp. I've been that beta male. I've been Matt. I've, I've been him been him so i i know what's going on you have to question everything i say i'm sorry em, i'm just trying to be helpful if you want to be helpful then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can okay um okay fine whatever you want thank you i'll see you up there after i go find sam see you in a bit Damn, my romance went down and Emily's shit went down just like that. Nigga. All because I wasn't her yes man. But yeah, I know how Matt feels and it's not a good feeling. Especially when you, yo, the worst feeling is when you try to tell somebody something logical and they refuse to understand the logic of what you're saying. That is the most frustrating thing ever. I I swear. It's just so fucking frustrating. Like I said, I've been there. It's frustrating. I've been there. Ashley, you about to see some shit? You about to see? That's what's her name. Oh, mm. hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. That's a damn. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh. Hey, whoa. Oh. Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare She's you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to. Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh, oh my god! Hey, wow. Man, I'm not really sorry, Ash, damn. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. No. Uh, what should I do? Should I be an ass? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Expose Emily, cause Emily's a bitch. I normally don't call women that, but when the shoe fits, Lord knows I say it. And Emily is a bitch. I want to expose her. Take a look. Go ahead, my boy. Um, Butterfly effect. Sure. Uh, go go ahead. Knock yourself out. I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. Damn. Nature remained in balance. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. That's why she shipped you off, my boy. So she could be on some sneak man shit. What the fuck is she talking about? Had us update. What the hell? Okay. Jessica. Most people check their phone. Damn. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Oh my god. Uh, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, great. Hey, Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh, ah. Hey! Nope. Oh, snap! Hello? Come on. <laughs> I'm about to fuck him up. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Boom. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all of your tricks. I'm not gonna hit that bird. I'm about to fuck him up, though. Bitch! Oh, right. And then what? Oh, no more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> That's the type I want to have. Gotcha. Done. Done like that. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Yeah, cause she was horny after all that. Wow, save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <laughs> We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah.
So who's that? Hello again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? Well, I, I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Hmm. Oh, women. I don't like crowds, but I also don't like planes either. I have a fear of planes, like a big fear. I'm gonna go with that. Damn. I can't swim. And depending on if I'm that high up, like the picture is showing, yeah. I'm not sure which one would make me more like, because I have anxiety. I'm going to go with a fear of heights. Oh, that's easy. I don't really, I'm not really scared of rats, but if I had to choose out of rats and snakes, go oh, rats. Either one scares me. Because a gun, let's be honest, the person gotta have pretty decent aim to kill you with it, or to at least hit you with it. Knives are, I'm gonna go with guns. Because knives are more easy to dodge anyway. I hate... I'm not going to say I fear them. I fear water bugs. Oh, just thinking about it just made me just... It made my liver quiff. Oh, I hate water bugs. Oh my god. So instead of it being I fear cockroaches, we're gonna have it be I fear water bugs, cause I don't like fucking water bugs. Oh my god. Damn. I don't fuck with clowns. Actually, neither one bothers me. Like, at all. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Damn, I don't know. I don't like spiders. I used to have a fear of needles. As a kid growing up, oh my god, my fair needles was all fucking deep. It used to take like three, four people, plus my mother, 
to hold me down. Because they could not hold me down. And I was like mad young. I wasn't even a teenager yet. But yeah, now, no, I don't fit in needles at all. I can get a needle and just call it a day. And I got tattoos, so yeah. I'm gonna go with gore. Damn, what you know? <laughs> Zombies do not scare me whatsoever. Like, at all. If the zombie apocalypse was to happen today, tomorrow, I don't give a fuck when. Yeah, boy, gonna be ready. Yo, this dead feel like that CVS, um, not just CVS, but most retail jobs when they have you do that stupid ass questionnaire where they ask you the same question like five times out of the hundred questions, you get the same question like five, six times just to see if you change your answer. Oh my God, that shit is annoying. I hate those things. I don't fear dogs. I have two dogs. Storms don't scare me at all. Neither the score, but you know, whatever. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, clowns, an awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. They give me weird old vibes. All right, I think that's the perfect way to end this episode because they about to do, yeah, do that. And like always, your boy got to get ready for work. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to your boy. Show him that love. You feel me? Share it. And I say it again. Like, comment, and subscribe. But I'm out. Peace. Peace.